All right, my brother, in this video, I'm talking about five first date tips for men. So for you women out there, be sure to comment below and either vet what I'm saying or tell me I'm full of shit. I have a feeling that this is gonna go well for everybody. So the five tips for men in their dating. Number one, no expectations. You go on a date without expectations. Now you might say, ah, Ed, why, what do you mean? I'm dating her because she's cool and I think something might come of this and I want, yeah, great, cool, awesome. The problem is most guys come in there and they have all these expectations. I'm gonna make out with her, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna take her home tonight, I'm gonna do all these things. They forget that there's a person on the other end of this and he needs to come in and just see what she's about. No expectation, you have no idea what's gonna happen so there's no point in getting ahead of yourself and psyching yourself out. It's like the boogeyman in the dark. Right? When you were a kid, you were like, oh, there's a man under my bed. He's going to get my leg when I put my foot down. It's like, no. Your imagination's running away with you, and your imagination's freaking the fuck out. So settle down. No expectations. Expect that nothing could happen, and that's fine. Be okay with nothing happening. Totally fine. It's not a loss. And that comes up to lesson number two. Your job is to connect with her. You don't have to try to make all these moves. You don't have to try to get her to fall in love with you. You don't do any of that shit. Just connect with the human in front of you without judgment. She could be on the other end of the political spectrum as you. So what? Cool. That's just how she is and that's just where she's at. Now that doesn't mean logically we're gonna say, hey, that's the person I wanna be with, but at the same time, when you're with her in this space, just see her for who she is. There's no point in judging her. Your judgment of her means you're also probably judging yourself and it's gonna also wrap you around your own axle. You're gonna start getting weird around her. Like, ah, she doesn't like guns, what do I do? Don't worry about it. Just see the person who's there and see what she's all about. And you can logically file away these things that don't match with you. But if she's not a match, she's not a match. That's totally fine. But in the spiritual sense, come at her with no judgment. Just see the person who's in front of you and do your best to connect with the person inside. This is super key. She wants to feel you feeling her. And if she can see that without you getting all wrapped around the axle and you can stay, keep grounded and centered in your energy and in your emotional state, She's going to see that you're a strong, grounded individual. She's going to want to get to know more about you. Point number three is guys tend to fall in love really fast, like really fast. They'll get enamored by a girl and they just totally forget that, hey, her interest matters here. Watch her. See if she's actually interested in you. And when she shows that she's interested in you, just match it in kind. Don't lose your head. Remember, her interest in you matters more than your interest in her because she's going to do the choosing here. You've already said, hey, I want to go check this woman out and let's see where she's at. Is she actually interested in you? If she's not that interested in you, just go ahead and end the date. Say, hey, it doesn't look like you're that interested. Why don't we just save each other our time? We'll go do something else. Or you just pivot and say, hey, let's just hang out as friends. I ain't going to play this game. And so do that. But don't sit there and go like, oh, I'm going to pull from her, pull from her. No. If she, does, if she touches you, maybe you can touch her back in the same way. Like, look at the signs of how much interest she's showing you and just match it. Don't go over. Don't push it too much. Just match where it's at. And you'll see that she'll come to you in her own time. She'll start escalating it on her own. And then at this point, then you just match that and it'll progress on its own. If you do this properly, she'll progress it all the way to the altar eventually. With a woman who likes you, most guys talk women out of liking them. They keep talking and talking and talking, trying to impress her. And all she sees is this motherfucker's trying to impress me because he's insecure because he doesn't have good big shit going on. He has to try to like inflate himself. And women see this shit all the time. You think you're being clever, but she's, got, she's very intuitive. Women are designed to sniff out liars. They're designed to find if they can actually trust the guy. Their entire survival strategy up until this point is relied on this fucking fact. And you sitting here trying to play this game where you're trying to like outsmart her, there's no point in doing it. Just come across authentically, connect with her honestly, unapologetically, and just match her where she's at, bro. You don't have to keep pushing it. What most men fail to do is actually vet the woman out. So you might be on a date, and he talks about himself excessively, talking, 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 talking. Before the end of the day, he's like, I don't even know who this woman is, and that's a problem. Your job isn't to try to just get her, to get any woman who's available. Your job is to vet her out. How do you vet her out? By getting her talking about herself. Have her talk about herself. You know, the person who's asking the questions has all the power in the dynamic because they're leading the interaction. And you'll say, hey, and you'll have her tell you more about her. And as she starts revealing herself, you'll see how her patterns of behavior and her operating mode is. And from this, you can make judgments. And so you want her to reveal herself. And you get her to reveal herself by asking her questions about herself. And everybody loves talking about themselves. And so if you show her that you think she's amazing by the way she's talking about herself, you're like, yeah, 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 because you honestly are not trying to manipulate. Then you're going to find everything you need to know about this woman 
by what she talks and how she acts and everything before you even get into a relationship with her. So you can vet her out very well. And this goes the same for women too. Get the guy talking. And guys love to talk about themselves and they certainly love it when you laugh at all their stupid fucking jokes. And the last one is, don't try to impress her. Your job's not to impress her. Your job is to be as secure in yourself and calm and relaxed as possible. The most calm man is the most sexy man in the room. Be certain, calm, grounded, connected, and committed to yourself. She needs to see this. This is how you're trustable. You don't have to do all this fancy stuff or trickery or try to be super romantic to try to impress her or try to take her on this emotional journey and stuff. If you're just super solid into who you are, you're gonna stand out big time. Most men are not this way. In fact, I know of less than 1% of men who would actually do this because they're not. They're unsettled, all up in their head, all up in their anxiety, always worried about if they're making enough money, if they're fit enough, if they're good looking enough, if they're impressing her enough, and they all live in this place of scarcity. You, my brother, should sit in the space of security. Stop trying to be confident. Be secure and calm and comfortable in your own skin. And from this place, you can actually open up, come from the heart and connect with the person in front of you. And I guarantee you, this will impress her more than anything else. Your ability to be this way is absolutely critical. This is the secret sauce. Secure in yourself, so secure in yourself, you're just, hey, this is how I am. All your natural charm is gonna come out, all your natural humor is gonna come out, all your natural quirks that she can last, latch onto is gonna come out. And if she doesn't like those things, great. You don't care, you're already secure in yourself. Cool, that just opens up the space for another woman who can connect with you and match you better. That's the whole point of this, the whole point of dating. All right, brother, that was the five steps in how to have a great date with a woman. It's not, we didn't get into technical things, we went into mindsets. Why? Because the mindsets is everything. She's looking at you and how you operate as a man within yourself. The more stable, secure, and calm you are in yourself, the less judgmental you are, the more you can open up and accept people, the more she's gonna see you as a trustable guy and that she can be safe with you. If she can be safe with you, then she can open up her sexuality to you. She doesn't need all this other crazy stuff. Trust me on this one. Just go out and try it and come back here and tell me the results in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want more. Hit the bell if you wanna be notified for every video in the future.